If you're ready to jump into HX Effects, this video will get you 80% of the way there. Ready? Here we go. There's not much to hooking up HX Effects. Connect your guitar or any other mono pedals to the left mono input here and the left mono output to additional pedals or directly to your amp. If you have stereo pedals or two amps after HX Effects, use both left and right outputs. By default, the ins and outs are set to instrument level, but if you're using keyboard, synths, or drum machines, you'll want to switch these to line level. This can be done in the global settings. HXFX has two effects loops here that can be paired as a single stereo loop. Use these to insert your favorite stomps into HXFX signal flow, or to connect one or two amps in four or seven cable method. Turn on HXFX. The mode switch toggles between the two main foot switch modes, preset and stomp. Stomp is where you add and edit all your various effects. Preset mode is where you can recall up to 128 different presets, and you could almost think of them as 128 completely different pedal boards. However, stomp mode is where you're gonna spend the vast majority of your time. The built-in presets might be an okay starting point, and it's really easy to tweak them. Just touch the effect you want, turn the big knob to change the effect, and turn knobs one through three to adjust its parameters but eventually you'll really want to create your own presets from scratch. Press mode, bank up to find an empty preset, and press to select it. Now you'll see a completely empty preset. Touch the switch you want and simply turn the big knob. Now there are hundreds of items to scroll through, so it may be easier to open the model list. Press the big knob and find the type of effect you want. Say we want a mono drive, select the model, and there it is. Turning an effect off is as easy as pressing the switch. To bypass HX effects completely, press mode and tap together, and you'll see this dialog box jump around the screens to remind you. HX effects has either true relay bypass or DSP bypass with delay and reverb trails, and this can be set in the global settings. Touching a switch calls up its parameters. Tweak the parameters with knobs one through three, or completely change the effect with the big knob. If you see arrows to the left or right of an effect, Press page left or page right to see more parameters. Now many of these effects are from Helix, which means some of them have lots of parameters. So instead of paging back and forth a lot, you can also just touch a switch for one second and all the pages spill out across the switches. Then press home to exit. For the most part, these six switches correspond to the order in which they appear in the signal flow. However, they don't necessarily have to. For example, if you want your distortion to appear on the bottom row, touch hold two switches and then press OK to swap them. Now this doesn't actually change the effects order, only the way they appear in stomp mode. To change the actual order, check out the signal flow video. To save a preset, just press save twice. You can also name this preset and choose a different preset location for it. That's it, that's 80% of what most people will likely do with HX effects. There's still more to discuss though, so check out more videos at the links below.